How are you feeling, car? Unable to process. Please repeat query. Never mind. City was hoping you might trade a. Wait, you're them Rangers, the refugee haters. Crap. here at HQ and started checking through them. All dead except one. Don't know if it's a hoax or a trap or what, but I thought you should hear it. Up to you if you want to respond. The signal originates near your current location. Anyway, I'll patch you through. SOS. SOS. Secret Service Officer Morningstar requesting aid. I'm trapped in a compromised location with hostiles closing in. I require immediate extraction. Does anyone read me? SOS. SOS. Secret Service Officer Morningstar requesting aid. I am trapped in a compromised location with hostiles closing in. This frequency is for authorized United States military personnel only, which you would know if you were authorized United States military personnel. So, before I say anything else, I need to know what country you serve, Desert Rangers. One now, okay? A song about love, 
loss and moving on. A song to touch the heart. All right, light him up. Wow, and I thought Colorado trash was sad. You made a bad deal, Rangers. My father's using you for cannon fodder. Go back to Arizona before you take a bullet for him. The graves are cold up here. And on your way home, tell him to hire a better class of spy. Good luck with that. My robots will turn you into a thin red mist before you get a shot off. Wanna reconsider? Because he's taking too long to die of natural causes. Colorado will die before he does if someone with some vision doesn't take control ASAP. And that's not either of my brothers. Are you blind? He's letting a crazy cowboy cult control our oil production. Our main trading hub is run by a bunch of idiots and monster masks. All that should have been state-run ages ago. We... Ugh, why am I arguing policy with a bunch of gun jockeys? The point is, my father has Colorado in the palm of his hand, and he's afraid to close his fist. I am not. Squad, roll out!
concession. Outsiders are forbidden to interfere. At ease, Sister Glory. I know what this is about. The Patriarch has sent the famous Desert Rangers to inquire after his son, Valor. I'll be with you in just a moment, Rangers. Justice is swift in God President Reagan's America. Such manners. Disrespect like that will only make us move slower. Ronnie, are you ready to begin the trial? Yes, Nancy. Uh, present the accused. Whoa, it talks. Thank you, husband. First, the heathen godfisher attacked three of our commandos, captured one, cut off his limbs, and sent him screaming into the sky. The gods of the sky must be appeased, or the nurturing rains will never come. Thus, we appease them with our sacred kites and the blood of unbelievers. Well, that doesn't sound very civilized. What's the other one done? Thank you. But please, no further interruptions. The other one, husband, is a communist robot from the machine commune who trespassed on our land. Your designation is incorrect. We are a direct democracy. And I entered your lands to heal the injured humans. It is irrelevant whether one is communist. Co -co communist? Communist? As for the hippie, no one can be denied the promise that is, well, America. Let's give her a second chance. Go and, uh, send no more. Ha! Fools! The gods of the sky will devour you. Uh, thus is justice done in America. God bless us, and God bless God President Reagan. Sorry to keep you waiting, but matters of state must come first. I'm Mother Nancy Reliance, and this is my husband, God President Reagan. Welcome to the Shining City on the Hill. First of all, I didn't kill it. Ronnie did. Second, the will of the God President is not to be questioned. If he spares one sinner and not another, there must be a reason. Now, if you still want to discuss Valor Buchanan, come and join Ronnie and I in the Western White House. We will receive you in the sacred server room. Good day. Chili beans! We haven't had any visitors since we piled the Patriarch soil. You're the Rangers, right? Meeting God President. Wow, the Desert Rangers! We don't get many famous folks around these parts. You're getting the VIP treatment, too. Meeting the God President face to face. I'm Sister Nancy Glory, by the way. Anything I can do for you? Huh? Oh, we didn't do any of that. That was all the God President. Ain't that right, sir? <laughs> I have to protect my Nancy, don't I? Oh, Ronnie. You're making me blush. Ronnie, set her free. She's one of them crazy godfishers. They like to hang people's torsos onto kites and fly them up in the air. Supposed to attract demons from the clouds or something like that. Ugh, disgusting heathen nonsense. It'll all go when we finally cleanse this place. This is Ronnie's land, his oil, and we ain't leaving. Not for cannibals, call me computers, pinko robots or filthy plain savages. Not for anyone. The Godfishers? Sure, 
They're the crazy cultists who kill people and fly their torsos up to the clouds on kites. And I'm pretty sure they want to kill us all. So, not very neighborly neighbors, if you know what I mean. We take the name Nancy from Ronnie's original wife back before the deluge of fire. It's the greatest honor a woman can achieve, being a Nancy. I love my Nancy. Oh, I love you too, Ronnie. Oh, Ron is everywhere. He sees through every statue in this place, but the place he likes to be most is in the server room with Mother Nancy. Well, because the robot was a commie, obviously, but you never know with Ronnie. Last week, he spared a robot, killed two godfishers, and incinerated a tree. It's all part of his plan, though. I know that. Yeah. Well, don't tell anybody I said so, but we kind of do. There's more and more of them all the time. They're moving into our oil field now. Of course, Ronnie blasts them whenever they get too close, but he ain't mobile, and Mother Nancy won't give me the troops I need to fight him. So, well, if you're looking for a paycheck, told you we don't need saving. We just, oh, let's just change the subject. What else do you need? You two, right? Don't forget, Mother Nancy and Ronnie are waiting for you inside. Keep an eye. Commies are everywhere. Strangers rarely get audiences with God President Reagan. You'll find him at the north end of the Don't keep the God President waiting, Rangers. You'll find him at the north end of the building, in the sanctuary of the Holy Soul. Partner? Pilgrim? Hoss? Cow? Person? Log Entry 509, Testament of Sister Nancy 
Justice. Another unexpected proclamation today. Mother Nancy has ordered a full audit of Reagan's neural net to try and isolate the cause. Sys admin log entry 1821. Testament of Sister Nancy Justice. Reagan's behavior is increasingly erratic. He's having conversations with persons only he can see. I... I fear that I don't have the code craft to make this right. Sis admin log entry 2403. Testament of Sister Nancy Justice. The God President demanded to speak with Nancy tonight. When we asked which Nancy, he flew into a terrible rage. Had to initiate an emergency shutdown for repairs. Sis admin log entry 3314. Testament of Mother Nancy Reliant. If you're looking to get patched up, I'm your gal. The, if you're a Nancy and you do something the other Nancys don't like, they shun you and call you a Wyman. Yeah, no idea what it means. Maybe some kind of rat or insect or something. Anyway, you'll hear a lot of things about me in this shitty city on the hill. <laughs> None of them good. But nobody can fault my doctrine, so you don't have to worry. So where? Colorado Springs? <laughs> Why would I bother trading one dictator with delusions of godhood for another? Besides, Colorado Springs has plenty of doctors, and the Patriarch would likely string me up within a week for speaking my mind. That isn't true. So long as you're respectful and do what the Marshals say, you are free to say whatever you like. Do tell. See for yourself. Partner? Darn it. I'm just trying to do it like all rangers and marshals and cowboys in the stories do it. Nodding and squinting and staring right through you. Y you know, tough. Hard. Uh, my, my name's uh, Bill. I, I have a stupid question. I, I, know, I know it's stupid, but I, I, I gotta ask. I, I just gotta know. Have, uh... uh have any of you seen my ma anywhere? I told you it was a stupid question. How would you know if you saw her? I, I don't even have a picture of her. I just... Ah, you, you forget I asked. I, it was about six years ago. She, uh, she had a fight with Mother Nancy. Called her a bunch of things I'd never heard before. They wanted her to become one of those God President Reagan's wives. It's a big honor, but, uh, I guess she didn't want it. She said she'd leave before she married a machine. They told she, uh, left anyway. You, uh, <laughs> you mean like, like the stories? Walking the west with a six-shooter in my hand, saving my mom from, uh, engines and cattle barons and railroad men? Uh, you think I should do it? Are you really sending this kid out there alone? I mean, he's probably about my age, but he seems kind of... soft. W what was that? Really? <laughs> oh, I, I knew it! The minute you said I should leave, I knew it was the right thing to do! Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Rangers! I, uh... I gotta go find my gun.
Hey there, friends. Sister Nancy Forge, Ronnie's fourth wife, and his armorer. Made all our guns, armor, explosives, and that commie-killing Ronnie statue out on our front porch. Trade secret, meaning I won't sell it, and you couldn't afford it if I did. Doesn't mean I don't appreciate the compliment, though. Thank you. Anyway, I'm the traitor here on top of everything else. You need something? I might have it. And if I don't, <laughs> you probably don't need it. Ronnie called me to it during one of his spells, way back when I was a girl. She has hands of iron for forge and steel, he said. When a god tells you your trade, you best listen. Blood, sweat, and tears, friend. Blood, sweat, and tears. Scavenged and smelted the plating myself, hand ground the laser lenses, and spent a year wrapping the wiring. Also hunted and killed 30 or so scar collectors because I had some parts I needed. Steel, servos, and such. More than a few of the statues, bits, and bobs have blood on them. A fitting tribute to America's fighting president, right? Of course it is. I made it. And it's imbued with Ronnie's spirit. It's an all-American ass-kicking war machine. Yeehaw! Well now, kind of you to say so. What did you like best about it? <sighs> Fitting them with all that gear was a job and a half. Nice to be appreciated. You know, that reminds me. I got some leftovers from that job taking a valuable space. It's yours if you want it. Make sure you put that to good use, Rangers. Sure, have a look. What is this? Those are the Desert Rangers! They work for my father! You promised to keep me safe! Calm down, Valor. God President Reagan has everything under control. Well now, welcome, patriots. 
N N Nancy and I, well, we appreciate your selfless service and want to thank you for it. You are true Americans and we'll go 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 good neighbors. Now then, help yourself to some jibes and let's get down to business, shall we? As you as you know, as you know, no, no. You and I have a run run rendezvous run with destiny. We'll preserve for our children this, the last best hope of man, 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 man on earth, or we'll sentence them to <laughs> If it takes a blood 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 <laughs> let's get it over with. Well, what do you say? Well, I th think, don't I? Therefore, I, I am, aren't I? I know it does, friends. Friends? Friends? We're at war with the most dang dang dangerous enemy that has ever faced mankind in its long climb from the swamp to the stars. How do you tell a co communist? Well, it's someone who reads Marx and Lenin. And how do you tell an anti-communist? -co it's someone who understands Marx and Lenin. It, it is the Soviet Union that runs against the tide of history by denying human free freedom and human dignity to its citizens. Um... Asking only for purposes of our education, ma'am and sir. We don't mean to upset anyone. I'll be happy to explain, Rangers. Communism is a foul philosophy that tricks people into giving up their individuality and submitting to the will of the state, which commands them to work for free and relentlessly attack those who don't subscribe to their ideology. It is an evil beyond reckoning. What? It absolutely is not. We are the last true Americans. We follow the last true American president. Why shouldn't we believe that? We are Ameri Americans. 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 That's enough, Ronnie. You did very well. But it's bedtime for Bonzo now, okay? Okay, Mommy. Well, I'm sleepy. I know you are, darling. Night-night. I don't appreciate the way you've been conducting yourselves, Rangers. You're in the presence of divinity. Show some respect. Normally, I'd have thrown you out for such impertinence, but at the moment, we can't be choosy with our associates. I have work for you. Paid work. My husband, the God President, wishes to transfer his consciousness to a human body. To accomplish this, we must acquire a... What was it, Valor? A cybernetic transfer module. It's amazing. Basically, what it does is... That's enough for now, Valor. But yes, we must acquire this transfer module from the filthy communist robots that occupy the Denver airport. Or rather, we'd like you to acquire it and bring it here. To us. Once God President Reagan has a human body, you'll be rewarded with money, a fine weapon, and we will relinquish our claim on valor and restart the oil to Colorado Springs. Agreed, but only after valor helps us transfer God President Reagan into a new body. That's right. They can't do this without me. Yes, dear. Now keep working. Meanwhile, our home is at your disposal. I'll tell the sisters you can come and go as you please. Make America proud, Rangers. People do rather get the wrong idea about us. I can't say I mind. Let us be underestimated and ridiculed. They think our Ronnie is dead and never coming back, and they are wrong. 
They accuse us of seeing communists in every shadow, and, well, they are right. But so are we. Make no mistake, dears. We are surrounded by the vestiges of the evil empire. They have turned our great nation into an irradiated graveyard, and they expect... Hey, traveler. Why not visit Denver, the cultural center of Free Colorado? Warning, dangers of Denver include hostile wildlife, scavenging thugs, Reagan-worshipping fascists, rusty nails, collapsing buildings, and background radiation. Denver, the jewel of the North. before you step into our trap. You have fine ears. I hope one day to send them skyward so they may delight the gods of the sky. However, first we have a proposal for you. The mechanical giant known as Reagan kills our faithful, delaying the harvest. You have access to the Gipper's inner sanctum. It has three glowing hearts, known as terminals. You will destroy these terminals, so we may sweep across this land, making gifts of flesh to the sky. In return, you may pass through our camps without fear. We will not harm you. Gods of the sky, forgive them their foolishness. When their flesh feeds you, they shall be redeemed.
it together.
been thinking? You know what the biggest tragedy of the apocalypse was? The music. Oh, yeah, absolutely, what a waste. Like jazz, for example. It was amazing, and now it's dead forever. Oh, yeah, totally passe. I'm in the waster punk. I know the theremin, you probably never heard of it. What? No, I mean, ugh, forget it, fucking hipster. to meet Ronnie face to face. What do you think? I know. He's so deep. You really have to think about the things he says. Huh. You sure do. And looking mighty good for over a hundred, huh? I'm just kidding with you, mostly. Anyway, do you need anything else? Well... Salty language makes Ronnie unhappy, and he asked so sweetly for me to stop that I said I'd try. You're a peach, Nancy. Marriage is all about compromise, you know? You too. 